Hello everybody, I'm Enchanted Moon and welcome to my channel. Today I have an unboxing for you. This is my Ink Goddess Creations for April. Comes this way. That's their information right there. It has this and that and that. Um, this might be my last one. I'm taking a little break trying a couple new things so let's see what april has in store ah it's called witchy shit now that could be anything so on that note interesting says April 2021 every once in a while a witch needs a box full of witchy shit to arrive in their mail and brighten their day this month's box is perfect for adding to your witchy cabinet or supplies and treating yourself as a witch so that is the theme the back contains spoilers so I'll read that last and this is what we have some bright green or yellowy paper I guess you would say so, I'm just going to grab and see what I got. So, we got some Pagan Magic incense sticks from Hem. I think there might be 20 sticks in here. Um, let's see. I think it says it's... Yes, 20 sticks. So, we have 20 page, Pagan Magic Incense sticks. I don't know what it smells like. Since it's already open, I thought I can give it a sniff. It smells nice. I can't explain the smell, but it does smell very nice. So that's what we got. Then we got a votive. They always come like this, wrapped in plastic. Always smells nice. And these last, they're really well made. They last a while. I like them. Ooh, what is this? What, uh, what is this? Some sort of besom? Mm. Let's see. Got a besom there. We have, we have, looks like a handcrafted besom, uh, like a wooden stick. Besom, it's got black, looks like a metal twine with a pentacle, looks like t with moons, and a piece of maybe obsidian, I'm guessing, rough obsidian, looks handmade looks a little delicate I mean the handle's a little short for the size I think it should have been a little bit bigger but it is cute cute little besom to sweep that negativity away very cute what else we got we got a package here that matches the cool fluorescent vibe going on. Oh, what, a, what is in here? I can't even open it. Here we go. These things are so hard. Witch Be Gone Cleansing and Protection Ritual Perfume Oil. Like a bluey green, and it's impossible to open. Oh, I got it. Mm. Not one of my favorite smells. Mm. No, I'll definitely use this for my candles. It smells like 
Lemon. It smells like Lysol. You know that pine Lysol? But I'm sure it's good for cleansing and protection. So I think I will use this for candles. Ooh, not, it's not my thing. Whew. We got a cute little bag that says witchy shit on it. <laughs> I love it. And all the little witchy shit on there. Cute. Like a, well, like a cotton bag, I guess. It's thin cotton. Cute little bag to put some witchy crap in. <laughs> Very cute. Cutes. We have hmm, a little box. It sounds like there's something in this locked box. Let's see. Ooh, we got a cute little box full of goodies. All right, we got uh, a little bag of obsidian chips. We got some, looks like some rosemary. And we got three bottles. Cork bottles, so I guess you can put whatever you want in there, or maybe that rosemary and the, your chips. I guess it's supposed to look warm like that. What can you do, right? It's supposed to look worn in a little little box. So, we have that. Oh, we have this little thing here. I'm not sure. How you doing, Belly? You hiding your bone in my room? She's hiding her bone in my magic room. It's funny. Ooh, this is adorable. I got this cute, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's an incense holder. They have this same symbol I got in a box. I know I did. Somewhere in this room. Yes. This silver incense holder. I got in a, um, a box from the Sugar Muses. Either the Midnight or the Sugar Muses Deluxe. It's an intention box. So, I have my magical skull dice in there from them. So, that's a cool design. And now they're making it on incense holder, so that's cool. And last but not least is our Eclectic Witch deck. So, let's see what that's about. Okay. addition to our deck we have the art of the witch bottle and again it's the nice soft cards that they always made we have cleansing witch bottle we have the love witch bottle the healing witch bottle well, I wish they would have gave us more items for these bottles. We got the Magic Third Eye witch bottle. We got a Prosperity and Protection witch bottle. I love these. I love making witch bottles. But we got three little witch bottles that we can either decide what to use. I mean, they gave us some obsidian so we can make it maybe a protection one with rosemary. Um, but otherwise, I guess you can get creative with your own, you know, uh, different bottles that you can make, which is really kind of cool. So I do like these. 
They are pretty cool. And well, how many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is like seven dollars right here. So that's the box. Let me go over the back. This month's Inked Goddess Creation Box contains the witchy shit bag. It's a six five six by five cotton zipper bag can be used for storing gemstones on the on the go witchy supplies or any witchy shit of your choosing. Designed by more Morgan, owner of Inked Goddess Creations. Oops. Then it goes into the Witch Bottle Starter Kit Treasure Box. This month, we wanted to share the art of the Witch Bottle with you. The Witch Bottle can be used for just about any spell or ritual included in this kit. Our three corked glass bottles, rosemary, an all-purpose herb, and an intuitively chosen gemstone chip bag to get you started in making Witch Bottles. So I guess everybody's getting something different. Then, the next item is the Mini Altar Besom. Keep this magical broom on your on or near your altar to sweep away any negative energy before spells or rituals. Charms and gemstones may vary per besom. So each one of these are different. I got the triple moon, I guess, with the pentacle here, and obsidian. Um, then we got... Which Begone Ritual Perfume Oil. This cleansing and protective blend of geranium, clary sage, and patchouli, and bay leaf helps keep nasty witch energy from affecting you. Then we got the Soul of the Witch Votive Candle. A blend of patchouli, sandalwood, and musk, and amber to awaken the witch within you. This smells awesome. Then, Pagan Incense Magic. Mysterious floral blend to help you access your intent internal sacred space for magical practice 20 incense sticks and then the aluminum incense burner safely burn your incense on your altar or in your sacred space by using a switchy incense burner to catch your ashes and then of course the deck so overall it's cute i mean i don't know if it's worth the 32 dollars honestly anymore um, three, seven, that's 10, um, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. yeah, I guess it is. I guess it does add up to it. So definitely the value is there. Um, and they give you a sneak peek for next month, which is planetary magic. So, oh, and plus they do a donation of the box goes to National Math and Science Initiative. So they donate money to that as well. And I love boxes that donate it. That's wonderful. So next month's is Planetary Magic. I might get that one. I'm not sure. I'll think about it. Until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I will leave the information about this box on the bottom as always. Um, this might be my last video for a few days. I'm going away for a couple days, but I will definitely take lots of pictures and hopefully do some videos on the trip to share with you guys. But I think it will be via Facebook. But I will leave that information on, I guess, somewhere there so you can, guys can check out where it is. I'll leave it down here in this description as well, my Facebook page, because um, I can know I can go live there. So you can watch, watch from there as well. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like, subscribe, notification. Helps me get these videos out to you guys. And um, be safe and talk to you soon. Bye.